Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll explain you about what next after 12th or PUC. What are your thoughts? What do you suggest? How many courses that do you know which are all available in the market? Comment below section. Usually what happens if people are going for a BCom, many people go for a BCom, then we'll go for ABA, go for EBA or in diploma, diploma then engineering, engineering. But people are fail to understand that there are so many courses that are available in the market but they don't know it. So what I've done is I've collected a bunch of courses and its specializations. Let's go in detail about this. So before knowing how many courses are available in the market, we should understand what are all the strengths and weaknesses of a child being a parent or being a senior. Let's ask a couple of questions to ourselves. How do I help my child to choose the right career option after school? What are different career options after 10th being a proactive? What are the different career options available after 12th at the right time? My child is not good at maths. Will a lot of stream get closed for it if he leaves maths after 10th? My child wants to take a particular stream after 10th to 12th because all his friends are going in that stream. What should I do? We want our child to join family business. Which course is most suitable for him or her? My child has a very wavering mind. He or she comes up with a different choice every now and then. What should I do? I want my child to take up my profession, but I'm not sure if he or she will be able to do that. If we ask questions to ourselves, so we can able to help the youngsters at the right time for the right courses according to their requirement. Let's take a look at this chart. There are more than 10 courses available in the market but very few people know about this. As I said, usually what happens, majority of the people will go for commerce and then do MBA or will go to a diploma and then do engineering. But when you look at this chart, right, we will have an option for medical courses, paramedical diploma, engineering, humanities, management, commerce, BSc, law courses, and CA, that is chartered accountant. Let's take an example of commerce course itself. When people go for a commerce, they only think about BCOP, BBA, or BBM regular. But there are many more certified courses in it where you can consider and enroll for it. Say CA, CMA, CES, CFA, FRM, like this. Few certified courses which you can complete within 6 months to 1 year, 2 years, 3 years, depends on the levels. For more information about these certification courses, you can go to their websites and read more about it. So you will have a fair understanding about all these courses which is the right one to pick it up for you. Same way for other professional courses you can consider according to your requirement. Say example if you are going to start up your new business you can go for a business management courses or hotel management or mass communication according to your requirement. It has its own duration and professions. So, I request you to take some amount of time, go through in detail about these courses with the help of a Google or someone who has already done it. I will be sharing these documentations in the below comment section by providing a link. You can download it, these documentations any point in time for more information. So guys, now you know. How many courses are available in the market and what are all its specializations? Why can't you do some certified courses instead of doing some regular? You can do a regular or distance courses for two years, but by the time you finish that, you will have your one or two certified courses. In this competitive environment, the organizations are looking for who are certified. They are paid more. For them, opportunities are more. I request you to do some research on this and get some certified. Thank you for watching. If you like my video, kindly subscribe the below button for more videos. Have a great day.